But fortune lies beyond the stars Those dazzling heights too fast to climb I got so high to fall so far But I felt heavy as love swept going, who is this weirdo? My name is Shane. I'm one of many Shanes. Many Shanes in the room. Give him a hand. And uh, it is just, it is a delight. We haven't been here in a couple months and uh, it's just a, it's a delight to be back. Um, we, we think about you, we pray for you uh, and um, there's nowhere else I'd rather be tonight. Then right here, is anybody, this is your first time you've ever stepped into this crazy place called The Porch. Anybody first time? Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Welcome. 
We're so glad you're here. Um, there's no special porch handshake. I mean, it's just a place full of people um, talking about something that is, uh, is absolutely crazy. Yeah. And uh, believing in Jesus has always been crazy. The Bible is, d- does not hide the fact that Jesus and the gospel of Christ Jesus has been foolishness to the world. So it is foolish indeed that we are in this room standing and singing songs to a God we can't see on a Tuesday night. And uh, there's a guy named Paul who wrote a lot of this New Testament that we read. And he was addressing people who, were, uh, who didn't believe, um, who were believing in a false gospel where they say, saying, we know Jesus was a real guy, but he didn't really rise from the, from the dead. And maybe you're in here and you're exploring who this man is. And I've heard of him. I don't, I don't understand what it is to like know him or be saved. And did he, did he come back to life again? Well, Paul addresses that. And, um, and let me just, let me just, I just thought I would read it because we're going to spend 20 minutes just, just singing about this man, Jesus. I mean, we're not going to leave that topic of this person the reason why we're all here. Jesus, yes, the reason why we're all here. And listen to Paul. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. He said, now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel that I preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, and by which you're being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. And then I'm gonna skip some, and in just a couple paragraphs later, he says, If Christ really didn't raise from the grave, my preaching is in vain, our singing is in vain, and your faith is in vain. And we, of all people, this is verse 19, are most to be pitied. But I gave you, and that's all I'm doing tonight, is I'm... I'm, giving you, if you don't know who this God is, only what I've received. So he says, I'm giving you what I've received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried and he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas. He was a real guy. He appeared to that guy. And then he appeared to the 12 disciples. And then he appeared, check this out, to more than 500 brothers at one time, and I love this, 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive. Go ask them. Just go interview them. They're still alive. And then he appeared to me. And I'm here to tell you that Jesus is alive. This isn't a game. We don't meet at the porch to make ourselves feel better. I mean, we do feel better, but it's not some pat on the back or like, let's check off a spiritual list so that we can, our conscience is clean. No, Jesus is alive. He's real. He has saved us by his grace. He's our only hope. He's the reason that we sing. He lived the perfect life. I did not live the perfect life. You did not live the perfect life. If you came in here and you're living your most unperfect life now, welcome to the perfect one who lived a perfect life for you and not only lived for you, but he died for you and not only died for you, but that was raised, raised, came out of the grave and who's alive and ruling and reigning. And he said, anyone from any place, from any background, out of any denomination, out of anything who calls upon my name will be saved. And so we're just gonna take some time and think about this man, Jesus this real person with real hue to his skin who really came, who really got pierced, who really bled for us, God in the flesh. Can you imagine that? It's not just a sing-along. It's real. And we get to encourage each other tonight by speaking it out and saying he's holy, he's worthy. He's taken my sins, removed them as far as the east is from the west. Who am I that you would call a son, daughter of God? And we come before that God, the one true God. And we ask you to be real to some tonight. 
not a religion, not a checkbox, that you would be real, that you would be tangible, that you would manifest your presence in a way that they would know you, understand you, open the eyes of their heart, open our ears to hear you. We're hungry for you, Lord. Where else are we gonna go? There's nowhere else to go. So come now, we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. Holy, all God's children sing in hope.
still believing he's gone. It's a chance to surrender to him tonight.
hide from getting through, you know we do. Do you wish that you could see it all, maybe? We do. It's all creation. Remind ourselves of it. Yeah. Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah. Our God intend to dwell again with us. Oh, He does. Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah. Hey, Shane Bernard here. Our hope is that you loved that video, that you were blessed by that worship set. And if you wanna learn the songs that you just saw and hundreds of songs like that, then come visit us at theworshipinitiative.com. And if you would, subscribe to this YouTube channel where we're sending out constant resources to you. And so do that. Love you guys, praying for you. Shane Bernard.